What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Existential Stoic Podcast Quick Fix 21. Do the Woo! hustle. Do, 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 do. Today we're talking about hustle and working hard. I remember a time when anybody said hustle, and that's what came to mind. But nowadays it's like Gary Vaynerchuk, like you're not working hard enough. You don't want it. Yeah, right. It was even probably before our time, but then bled over to our time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was before Uber was around. Before people had their side hustles. Which just meant working for terrible money and no pay. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so today, we're talk- yeah, today we're talking about hustling, working hard. And uh, a quick fix, short little episode, 10 minutes. Uh, you can take the time, share it with us, and learn three helpful handy hints for hustling, aka working hard. And actually, this week is going to be special because uh, Danny and I both have two good and one bad thing about hustling so you get to share yeah. that i'm randy by the way this is my buddy danny hey danny what's up randy <laughs> all right so since uh since i'm guiding this exploration into doing the hustle do, 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 i will start <laughs> and uh my my first thing that i have is you just need to throw enough stuff against the wall like uh in the most successful venture that I have so far, I'm not able to do it because I knew that I was going to be doing that. It was just something where I just started throwing stuff against the wall and eventually something stuck. Like I had my full-time job where I was working 60 hours a week. And then on top of that, I was trying out, I was doing real estate investing. I was building SEO companies. I was uh, looking up internet marketing. I was doing all types of other stuff. And then all of a sudden, this one other thing just happened to stick. And that was it. You know, you mentioned that to me before. And I always liked that one because when you're doing that too, you're developing all these other skills and all these other tools that you can then use later anyway. So you never really are harmed by it. And it's just taking chances. And I think the more you do it, the more you're comfortable you become doing it. Right. And then it just gets easier and easier to throw stuff out there and keep trying. So yeah, I think that's a really good one. And also, like, I go to a whole bunch of these uh, meetings where everybody's like, follow your dream, quit your job, and then start doing it. And I was like, that's the worst advice ever for two reasons. First off, you need that job to give you the fire and the motivation to go pursue the side hustle. And two, where's your support going to come from? Like, if, you're not, if you don't have that income coming in, you should, you should be doing your side hustle until it replaces your current daily income. So that's what I have to say about that. Yeah, so you don't lose your safety net entirely on pull the rug right out from under you. That's a good idea. Yeah. And, and <laughs> not only that. that, like not everybody's meant to be this entrepreneur hustler. No. Okay. Yeah. You, you might find out that you quit your job and then you're bored as a mofo at home. So that's my yeah, number actually, one. We're taking all the time doing that, aren't we? Yeah, we are. It's like almost five minutes. That's good. No, it actually <laughs> leads into mine nicely because my first one is, you know. Uh, the thing I never liked about the concept of hustling is I feel like a lot of times people, it, it's really, we overextend ourselves. And I think overextending ourselves is terrible. If we're talking about like working harder, you know, I think that overextension of self, that idea that you got to keep going, keep going, keep doing this. It's like, well, if you have 10 side hustles and your full-time job, you're not living life either. And I think that is missing the point entirely. So I really I think that's what my first, my first one's negative. I think that's a caveat against sort of this hustle mentality because I think it's, it needs to be smart and directed. Yeah, that's a great point because everybody's like, oh yeah, I'm doing 12 things. And it's like, are you though? Hmm. <laughs> Do they matter? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So uh, next one for working hard. So I think that hard work is essential. Like my grandfather, he was a very smart guy and he told me very early on, You need to be, you need to work hard, but you also need to work smart because everybody is working hard. Not everybody's working smart. And then the, but, but my actually second tip is that (laughs) I know that's, that's, that's the preface to this. Uh, My second tip is that hard work is necessary because the only place that success comes before work is in the dictionary. Oh, nice. I like that one. I like yeah. that. That is good. You know, it's it's funny because I like how you did the whole story and showed your age first that had nothing really sort of had something to do with it, but not quite. That was good. No, that's a good one. Yeah. I think, you know, and also the point too of working smarter and it actually, that goes really nice in my second one too, because I had 
you know, we need to plan and strategize. I think you need to know what you want. And um, to your first point, too, you were talking about, you know, throwing stuff against the wall, doing all these different things. I think when you plan and strategize, you build skills. And I think that's crucial because you figure out also what you want to do. And it's really about making that hard work, smart work at the same time. I think that's crucial to actually make this work and make it make sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right on. Yeah. So that's your second one. Yeah. All right. So then my third one, this is my, this is my critique of the hustle. Uh, my critique of the hustle is the same (laughs) critique that they eventually discovered about multitasking it doesn't work it actually (laughs) it actually takes you longer to complete the things by multitasking than it would if you did them sequentially because every time you break from one task to another you not only lose time there but you actually it takes your brain time to adjust so I have the same thing to say about multitasking or about uh, hustling is that if you, if you're focused on having so many hustles, you're, you're so shallow and superficial in where you're going that you don't have the time to go deep to actually become good at something. Yeah. I like that. Instead of doing like a few things really well, you're doing a bunch of things really poorly and never really actually getting anywhere with it or spending time on it to see if you even like it. And I think that's a great one Mm -hmm. where you're just so busy. You you don't even know what you're really doing. It's like, you're just running, spinning your wheels. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, That goes nicely to my third one too. Oh, go ahead. (laughs) And I was just going to, I was just going to add that, you know, like it, it also can be a, some people keep on hustling because they don't want to be uncomfortable with being bad at something. They, yeah. they, they do it, they're not good immediately, and then they move on. Like, that's me to a, key, to a T. Uh, but if you want to be good at something, you have to be willing to be bad at it first. You have to stick with it. And because really, no, that whole point goes nicely to my last one, which was prioritize. I think hustling and hard work, we have to focus on the right thing at the right time. You know, it's got to be focused work and smart work to get anywhere. So that led into it perfectly, because I think that's true. Like, if we just run around doing a bunch of things. You're right. That's a great way to distract ourselves, pretend like we're doing stuff, but not really get anywhere and not really commit to anything. So I think hard work is really committed work. It's focused work. It's, you know, actually trying to complete a project, do it and being willing to stick with it through the difficult moments till you get better. Yeah, that, that's yeah. good. I think, uh, I think that actually worked out a lot better than we thought it was going yeah. to. <laughs> yeah, it actually did in a weird There's way. Just yeah. good advice. Yeah. I mean, hustle can be important if you do it intelligently and if you prioritize and kind of uh, work towards it, it seems like it can work. And then everybody can do the hustle. (laughs) Yeah. And I think that's, I think everybody was supposed to be able to do the hustle. I think that's the main problem too, with a lot of these, a lot of these trendy things is like, they're not, what you hear about them is very superficial and it's never really like, you're not thinking it through enough to really get to like where it's actually worthwhile and helping you rather than just kind of making you feel better in the moment you know and i and i also think that the idea of hustling comes from these entrepreneur people who don't know how not to hustle like that's yeah. also yeah. that's also an important thing to notice is that these guys don't have an off switch they can't sit still they yeah. can't go to an island and relax so like trying to emulate them isn't going to get you anywhere you need to be yourself i like that it's a good place hmm. to end then right yeah yeah so <laughs> yeah. that is it for <laughs> Uh, quick fix 21 of the existential stoic podcast thank you all so much for joining us for listening for watching uh check us out on youtube also on podcasts like share subscribe i'm randy that's my buddy danny bye danny later andy